I left Bear outside and got worried. I walked out and realized I did not grab my camera, so I went back in and Bear's like, hey, I thought we were going out. What's going on? So tomorrow morning, I'm getting up and um, spending the morning with my kids. Then I am getting in the car and heading to the airport where I will then be traveling uh, to Virginia. I always have this feeling of like doing what I can before I leave and I'd like to put some seeds in the soil uh, just because you know like with radish seeds and stuff if I put them in the soil today and I get back at the end of this weekend they'll probably be up by then. And that sounds way better than waiting until I get back to plant them. Oh there's there's a beautiful man in my garden. Sprouted up. <laughs> sprouted right up. Somebody out there is going to be like, what seeds do I need to plant to get a beautiful man to sprout up out of my garden? Yeah. One that builds stuff too. <laughs> I'm a volunteer. Uh, well played, sir. <laughs> get that plant reference out there. So I'm still waiting for all the seeds I planted earlier in this week to come out. It's only been a couple of days. But let's just be honest with each other as gardeners. Uh, we definitely start checking the next day. <laughs> we know they're not going to germinate the next day, but we did, we definitely start checking. Y'all remember this box of seeds I got at Botanical Interests Big Sale? It's been a few months ago. They put a lot of stuff on sale and I bought this whole box of seeds. If I remember correctly, I think I spent about $100 on seeds and already I have harvested $100 worth of food out of this box of seeds and now I'm planting a lot of the fall garden out of it. There's some stuff in here that's actually not fall garden. I should have organized it better. Like that. All right, so I've got some calendula. Calendula are uh, pretty frost hardy plants. I don't know how much they'll bloom here going into the fall. I've grown them in the fall before. I specifically like planting them like two months before the last frost date and they really start taking off right as it starts warming up. We're going to throw some of those in and see what happens. Um, some Easter egg blend radishes as well as French breakfast. French breakfast is actually my favorite radish. I just like how smooth it is. Um, radishes flavor like their spiciness really depends on how hot it is when you grow them but they still have some measure of spiciness and I think these uh, they have a nice bite but it's not super overwhelming but I'm also saying that like considering that you're growing them when it's cool outside if you grew radishes in the summer and they were too pithy or woody or spicy and you didn't like them um, try growing them when it's cold and if you don't like them raw roast them because roasted radishes are like a complete and total total radish game changer i've had many people tell me they do not like radishes that really liked them roasted super simple you just quarter them oil salt pepper 400 degree oven and you could throw them in an air fryer if you want them to be crispy that's something that i more recently learned i'm gonna put those in the some soil but first i'm gonna go in here and check out what maya's doing hello sir what's up nice Famous they'll ever be. <laughs> when it's your workspace, not mine. That's right. <laughs> Y'all, Jackson just came down the driveway and we were like waving our arms at him, trying to get him to stop to tell him to eat leftovers for dinner. Drove right by. Well, he's paying attention to where he's going, that's for sure. <laughs> not looking off to the side. Um, so, going to HOA, Homesteaders of America Conference. I actually was not planning on going to this conference um, simply because I have a hard time leaving my farm. Um, since we moved, I really haven't done a whole lot of travel because, you know, mama's got a mom and uh, have really been heavily invested in what's happening right here. But um, Justin Rhodes contacted me, I don't know, a month or two ago, um, and he asked me if I would be willing to come out and be a part of the conference, meet people, and uh, be a part of the Abundance Plus meet and greet, as well as just attend. And though I don't really love to travel, I do really love to meet you guys. And uh, so I told Justin, yeah, I'll do it. Uh, thank you for asking me. So for those of you who are gonna be there this weekend and I get to hug your neck, you can go give Justin Rhodes a big thank you for that because he's the one that pulled me out of my little shell. <laughs> You're looking majestically backlit, Maya. There's a halo of light around you. I always look like this. So Maya 
is holding down the fort this weekend. I'm sure you will be missed. You'll be missed by me for sure, but I'm sure others will miss you as well. The fort. Must be held. Yeah. I wonder where that came from. Holding down the fort? I bet you could Google it. I'm sure it has something to do with war. Hmm. I would hate to be the people holding down the fort in that scenario. <laughs> I want to be the people leaving the fort if the fort <laughs> is needing to be held down. But in this case, I'm glad to be holding the fort down. Yeah, it just entails like making breakfast and milking and entertaining children. Somewhere. Oh, there will be no fun. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. What do you do when I'm gone? Does anybody else, like when you leave your routine in your normal life and you just imagine like, like what do you do? Um, well, the first thing we usually do is we go and turn all the water faucets on. And then <laughs> we run out of the house like we just did something scandalous. <laughs> The water's on! <laughs> <We gotta> go. <laughs> when you're gone, I have more boys than usual sleeping in my bed. <laughs> they all sleep with me. Mm. And we usually watch movies together. Okay. Or go do something fun, like go to the zoo Kay. together. And we usually, I usually cook things that really only they like to eat, that sort of stuff. I kind of do the same thing. Yeah. I get pop tarts. <gasps> the organic ones, <laughs> not the real ones that you know are bad for you but taste better. You know those pop tarts. But it's almost like a tradition. Like they know the morning they wake up after you leave. So Friday morning they should be expecting pop tarts. <laughs> That's like the thing when the cat's away, the mouse will play. Like you guys buy pop tarts. I don't ever eat them. Strict I mom just is get gone. Them for them. Okay. And they just became a thing. And yeah. so honestly, a lot of the time we'll end up doing our own thing. It's like they all end up doing their own thing. Like even the little boys don't fight and they just do their own thing. Hmm. And it's usually pretty chill. We don't usually go anywhere. Actually, whenever, if I'm not going with you, I really don't like going places. So I usually, we usually just hunker down and hold down the fort. Hold down the fort. <laughs> now, all, also, I'm also usually responsible for the for milking twice a day. So right. like, I don't want to be like, oh, let me go to the zoo and then come back and milk. We'll do fun stuff, hang out. You know, we might watch a movie together. We probably will watch a couple of movies together because we do that anyways. But, you know, something sci-fi that you would normally watch. I don't know. I, see, when I watch movies with them, when you're gone, we watch like old 90s kids movies. Hmm. Yeah, but that's risky because 90s kids movies have some really good stuff. I know, sometimes stuff I watch stuff and I'm like, this was okay. Like, this I know, is... I was like, guys, let's sit down and watch Back to the Future. We got about, I don't know, 10 minutes in. I was like, nope. <laughs> Y'all can watch it when you're older. I'm serious. Like, Y'all be careful. 90s kids movies are not kids movies. You, you just don't remember it. <laughs> so anyways. Well, I will miss you this weekend. I will miss you. Also, no one comes and sleeps in my bed. I sprawl out. I turn the, the thermostat down to like 64. And just enjoy the freezing cold and bundle up. Oh, under the blanket. But you miss me. I totally miss you. I don't sleep good when you're gone. Oh. That's sweet. I'm yeah, like I'll toss and turn, I'll reach over to your side of the bed and you won't be there. Oh, that's so sad. Let's think about that when I get back. Not now before I'm leaving. Yeah. Stop! Yes, I'm very okay with you doing your job to give back to the people that give us this life. Yeah. Can you see the moon? What did you just say? The moon. But you were pointing at the ground. I'm like, the moon. Well, it's in the, the camera, ground. I'm pointing at the moon. Oh, okay. there it is. Y'all, this beautiful little nook here behind me, the corner of the greenhouse, is like, this ended up being my favorite garden spot this year. So I mentioned going um, and there being some Abundance Plus meetups. I'm really excited because Justin decided to make some slots that are essentially like meet and greet slots um, for Abundance Plus members. I will be doing a meet and greet slot with the Abundance Plus thing on both days so I'll be there but if you're only coming one day and then I'll also be around um, the event for, for the other parts of the day I'm planning on being at HOA both days but I did want to tell you guys about something that I just found out we had more spots to um, in May we held an event here at our farm for um, a select group of lifetime members of Abundance Plus that basically purchased their lifetime membership um, on a special where we were running with tickets to this party. Now, if you don't know what Abundance Plus is, this is a streaming service that my friend Justin has created that has lots and lots of ad-free content for 
the modern homesteader. There are classes and shows like our show, Wilder Still, which we worked with a production company to create this 10 episode show, um, kind of talking about the story of us moving here, our plan for the future here. I've had a lot of people ask me why we wanted to do that. And my hope for Wilder Still has always been that five years from now, we're gonna have a really beautiful package store. Of course, we still share this on YouTube, but it gives a different vantage point. And we've gotten a ton of great feedback from the people who have viewed that. But Abundance Plus has more than just our show and Justin's show. It also has like kind of behind the scenes podcasts, a lot of vlogs there also that you can watch without ads, as well as classes and tutorials and information that you can learn about homesteading. So that's, that's what Abundance Plus is. I'll be there at the meetups. There's all that information. Um, we actually decided that we were going to do another one of those events and another um, hundred spaces for people who purchase lifetime memberships kind of in support of us and Wilder Still and just to get a lifetime membership to Abundance Plus uh, and that lifetime membership for this limited time will come with these tickets to this party here at our house. Um, it's in November. Uh, we promoted this months back and basically we ended up um, having some more spaces they are limited uh, we only had a hundred seats to begin with and that included all of the people that were like couldn't come to the spring party and had tickets and then also um, the people who bought it the last time we promoted but I did find out there are more spaces and I wanted to let you guys know it's a month from now it's in November it's gonna be here on our farm it will be catered and basically it's just spending an afternoon with us here getting a private tour um, having a meal I think we're actually, we were talking about it yesterday because it's gonna be a little cooler. We're actually gonna set it up in the barn, which is gonna be really cool. It's actually gonna be our first thing that we do in our barn. Justin is going to be coming down and joining us for this. And you just spend an afternoon um, at our farm with us. And this ticket comes with this promotion of the lifetime membership of Abundance Plus. I was so nervous about hosting the event out here in May um, just because, you know, it's a big deal. You have all these people coming to your house and so it's like you clean everything up and get ready for them. But it was such a success. It was so precious to get to spend that time with people that I just felt like so truly believed in us and we're just, it, it was really special. And uh, being able to host those people was really special to me. Actually, one of the episodes of Wilder Seal that is now available on Abundance Plus is from that event. So you could check that out and, uh, and kind of hear what those people had to say. All of that information will be uh, in a link down below on the show notes. And uh, yeah, Maya's standing here because he needs me to tell him where to build garden beds and I'm squatting over here. <laughs> I'm talking to you guys. <laughs> okay, come over here. I think I have changed my mind. Yep. <laughs> that's, why brought, that's why I brought chairs. <laughs> All right. Spoken like a man who has been married for a while. I've been telling you guys about my raised bed garden over there and how we planned to basically mirror image that onto this side so we would have two pavilions and two pretty substantial raised bed gardens right here flanking the greenhouse. I really liked the idea of that being mirrored um, from an aerial view. However, um, that is a ton of growing space. Um, I, I haven't measured it to tell you exactly like how many square feet this is, but this is a lot. And as I have begun planting this, I just very quickly realized I don't want to build this many more raised beds. I do want some more, but I started thinking about it and I liked the idea of twin pavilions, but the truth is I don't really need twin pavilions. <sighs> I also don't really want to give up that much in-ground space because I like growing a lot of potatoes and sweet potatoes and I would like to have the option like we planted these two 60 foot rows of field peas. I want to have in-ground space for that. So I don't want to fill that much of this garden with raised beds. Bears upsetting the killdeers. All right, so here's what I'm thinking while the killdeers chew us out for being in their space. Um, I don't need that many raised beds. I would like some. Yeah. Um, when, when I consider like right now I'm planting so many roots and onions and garlic and all of that stuff over there, uh, lots of cabbages, kale. I mean, I'm really like, man, I, this is enough space. But in the spring, when there's still onions and garlics and I wanna plant tomatoes out, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, and so basically what I'm thinking is, let me build enough space here 
to have all the space for tomatoes that I could want. Like within reason. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, and you only want three beds? Are you sure you don't want 12? Well, they're 60 feet long. I know. <laughs> So, so what I was thinking is maybe like long beds that start up here where you have a walkway. Three foot off of this. Yeah. And then they go Sorry. down probably just pretty well in line with I'm where we... I'm going to keep it the same here except for the three foot spacing. Yeah. Um, three or four. I think we usually do four foot rows. So what uh, do we do over there? Three or four beds. Oh, I'm okay. thinking four beds. Yeah. Four? Yeah. You're feeling four? Just for the spatial. I think four will get us pretty close to that tarp. Okay. Also, I like... I think the aesthetics, I think I like the idea of doing it one solid, just doing them solid, even though you'd have to walk all the way down, that lets you give you one solid trellis for the tomatoes. Oh yeah, you're right. Like, so we just run it straight down. Yeah. Plus it just gives it something different. Yeah, you'll have, so you might need to change something where you can access like through here and maybe yeah. keep this walkway, but then just come down and around like this. Yeah. It's not that bad. So that's it. what I'm thinking here is just some long beds that go all the way down. So no pavilion and essentially that's still going to maintain like all of this for the in-ground garden, which is plenty of space for potatoes, sweet potatoes. And then if we want to grow like some corn or filled peas. And then of course that no dig garden where the chickens currently are, that's going to be still in ground, no dig garden. And then we still have the high tunnels. We have no shortage of planting space. Well, what? <laughs> oh, I just love growing stuff. So that is the plan. And basically, this isn't going to be mirror imaged, but I think it's going to be better to have some long beds here. We can grow things like tomatoes, have the wall trellises, and then in the ground over there, have plenty of space. And this is still obviously going to be really beautiful. I do need to make some little stepping paths here and maybe move some plants around because I keep doing this, which is not great. Yeah, it's just with all of this, this is just a lot. And then also finishing this is going to be a lot. What we end up putting down here in the walkway is building the pavilion. I've been trying to decide what to do with this space. We could have fit another bed in right here, but it would have made it really tight on that side. And I, Will had suggested maybe we could use part of this as like a staging area when we're up potting things, maybe be able to set tables up here to bring out plants when we're hardening off, like a nursery area, and I really like that. And I thought about using one of these round Vigo beds in here for maybe something ornamental. I don't know. Hey, Ben. Hey. What's up, dude? You want to sow some seeds with me? So? You got crocheting on the mind, huh? He's been calling crochet and sewing, but we know it's crocheting, right? Yeah, because sewing's easier to say. Sewing's easier to say for you? Hmm. Yeah. I talked longer over there with Maya than I intended to. Hey, Mommy, when are you going to come inside? Because I want to um, crochet. You want to crochet? Yeah. <laughs> I want to work on Harlow's lovey because the... Mega sleepover gonna be soon. Ben decided for his first crochet project to make a lovey for his niece Harlow. My niece? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm young uncle. <laughs> You're young uncle. <laughs> well, families get put together all sorts of ways, huh? Yeah, because he, I'm seven years older than her. Yeah. For those of you that don't know the dynamic, Jeremiah's youngest brother, Noah, is 23. He moved in with us whenever he was a teenager and lived with us through uh, growing up. And he and his wife moved out here to South Carolina with us, and they just had their first baby. So Noah's my bonus boy and makes me a nanny to have Harlow. Yeah, you're a grandma. <laughs> is that funny? <laughs> is that funny? <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, radishes. You want to do this? You want me to? Me. You're going to do it? Okay. This bed is empty, and I know it got really well watered today. Are you guys getting tired of planting time lapses yet? I think I know the answer to that. Time to get some hands dirty. Oh, time to get some hands dirty. That's right. Yeah. So how deep do we plant seeds? Guys, how deep are they? twice as deep as they are wide. So we're not gonna poke near deep holes, we're just kind of putting little dents in the soil, right? Yeah. And I know my grandma's watching this right now because she always watches our videos. Hi, Grandma. Hi, Grandma. If you're not my grandma, um, you're gonna be my grandma today. <laughs> you just adopting grandmas? Yeah. Your actual grandma is watching, though. 
I know. Your your grandma me is watching, but you can adopt the other grandmas too. I'm sure they'll have you. Yeah, they like me. <laughs> So I was going to do more seeds and I actually realized I just I forgot some of these little starts that I got. I told you guys about going to this little farm store and finding these packages of kind of puny looking plant plugs for like $2, two dollars two fifty, dollars something like that for this package. I got some messages from local people asking where that was. Um, I went back the other day and got a few more of these. They still had quite a lot of them. It's um, it's called Taylor's, I think it's called Taylor's Family Farm or just Taylor's Farm. Um, it's across the street from the IGA on Highway 1 uh, between Batesburg and Lexington is where that is if you're local and you wanted to go find them. Look at that beautiful golden light behind you coming through the trees. The camera does not do that justice. It looks like magic. All right, listen to me, okay? I'm going to give you some instruction. Are you paying attention? Do I have your eyes? I'm um, not yet. Okay. Now you do. Okay, thank you. Um, from the middle of this bed over is onions, so don't dig there. Right there. So where these flowers are on this side, cabbages all the way down. Cabbage. These are all little bitty plugs. I don't like cabbage with bacon. I just like normal cab. Just good. Just normal cabbage, no bacon. No bacon. Just normal cabbage cook. No onions, just cabbage. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. So this is a bunch of little plugs. Look. Bunch of plants. plants. How big are the holes? I have my shovel, my trusty shovel. Okay, uh, the holes need to be just enough. You don't have to go deep on these. Just enough for this soil to be under there. Now, hold on, wait. That's a little close to the edge. We want to go more to the middle of this side. So, like right down here. Kay. I'm actually going to do, I'm going to lay them out for you. Can I put the seeds in? Yes, right, listen, I'm going to lay them out. So you put this, that one right here, and then I'm going to lay them out how far apart I want them, and then you come behind me and, and put them in, okay? Okay, where do I put this one? Right there. Right here? Yeah. That's very sweet. <laughs> You uh, like birthdays, don't you? Yeah, I love birthdays. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and finish the plant. This planting, go inside and have some dinner. Will you wanna you wanna end this video with me, Garden Boy? Sure. So, thank you guys for hanging out with us today. today. We, we bless you. Until next time. I kind of forgot it. <laughs>